Are you ready for a brand new DCU update? I know it's been a while, but I'm still painting. And this is the job that never seems to end. I actually had to do trim and the doors around my downstairs uh, before I finished up with the painting. And uh, there were holes in about six of the doors in our house because we grew up with little kids. They're older now, and I did not want to fix these doors until they were older. And that time has come, and it took a while to make the doors look brand new. But I was able to patch all the holes, and you would never know there were holes in these doors. It's a pretty cool process. I'm probably going to do a video on that. I'm probably going to do a tutorial on how to fix hollow core doors, and nobody will ever know that you fixed them. Uh, but I am finally done with that project. The hole downstairs is finished, and it looks brand new. Uh, now I got to do the trim upstairs, but that will be in the coming weeks. I am taking a break. Let's talk about this DC crazy news today. Boy, did I pick a day to come back. And we're going to talk about this Ben Affleck news. Uh, that'll be my last story. But this today is all about rumors and some of the stuff going around the internet, the DCU, and especially with the Flash film. All of this pretty much hinges on the Flash film. We're going to talk about that. But this is all in the rumor category. Now, oftentimes I forget to ask people, if you're here watching my video, please like the video, subscribe, hit that notification bell. When my videos do go up, you guys will be notified as they come out. But I love bringing all of this news, and today's is a doozy. So first of all, let's talk about the aftermath of the Flash trailer. There were some things I picked up on and I did watch some videos where other people did confirm my suspicions in, in the trailer. First of all, that trailer was even had more views than I believe No Way Home did, uh, you know, when it premiered. This trailer, the Flash trailer, has a lot of buzz behind it. People are hyped. And a lot of that does have to do with Michael Keaton's Batman back in the film. And I'm not going to lie, you know, those films, I loved them when they came out in the 80s. I remember seeing them at the theater multiple times. But, you know, as time goes on, obviously technology gets better and things get better. Not my definitive version of Batman by any means, but it was cool to see Michael Keaton back as Batman. And I hope he is that same Batman, uh, that he's not some deranged lunatic, uh, that it is from the actual Burton universe. I hope that is the real Batman from that. But as we know, the rumors are now saying, and it's pretty much been confirmed that Sasha Kaye and, and both Michael Keaton have been cut out at the ending. They will not be part of this universe. And they did come out with the synopsis for the Flash film. And it does state that this is taking place in a whole alternate timeline, that it is not connected to this DCU, which is good that they're, not, they're keeping them separate and they're not going to merge, which is good because that's what the original regime wanted to do. Now, there were some things I picked up on the trailer that I thought were interesting. Everyone was talking about how, you know, we had blue lightning. There was this whole debate about Zack Snyder's Justice League still being canon, which I now am 100% sure that it is going to be the canon one talked about in the film. And we're going to discuss that here in a minute. But the blue lightning versus the yellow lightning. This trailer has both uh, so revolving around both the different berries. It's very interesting. There's one scene when they do kick their legs together and they each have uh, one has yellow, one has blue lightning. But there are events in that trailer that show that it does evolve around the regular berry as well. So I think there's they're going to explain something about the lightning in the film. They're going to have to with two different colors uh, there, you know, on the spectrum. It's going to be interesting. But let's talk about the things that that kind of point towards. Zack Snyder's Justice League being canon. Uh, there are people who are close to the film who have seen it who can confirm that there's that scene where Barry is talking with Bruce and Bruce is talking about messing up the timeline and he can destroy everything, that he is going to refer back to Barry Allen turning back time in Zack Snyder's Justice League to save everybody. That's going to make that canon. Not only that, but we saw the Hellcat in the trailer drop off the, the Bat Cycle and it was destroyed in the Whedon version of the film. So there are things. Not only that, but I did my video a long time ago when the first Flash tie-in comic came out where Barry did have that discussion with, with, with Bruce. And Bruce did say, you know, when you saved everybody, 
Uh, he, he he wasn't talking about the whole team because Barry was the only one that went back in time that made that whole thing possible. So I am now thoroughly convinced that Andy Muschietti is going to make Zack Snyder's Justice League canon, which he would be smart to do because it is a way better film. And the other film is, quite frankly, just a travesty, should have never seen the light of day. It's a terrible film. I can't even watch it now that I've seen Zack Snyder's Justice League. It's completely uh, it's just a, it's just an abomination is what it is, but that is going to make it canon. And I do remember Andy Muschietti saying he loved Zack Snyder's Justice League and he had retooled his movie to be more of a co- in continuity with Zack Snyder's Justice League than with the, uh, the, you know, the, the 2017 theatrical version, which does lead us to the last thing I wanted to talk about today, which is Ben Affleck actually coming back to be Batman uh, full time. There are rumors today suggesting that he, there are people who, well, there's a writer basically who filed a story with his publisher and the, the person in charge of this publication said that he has a doozy of a story on Ben Affleck that is good. This information is going to drop very soon. And it does have to do with DC. Now we all know that James Gunn has said, and I, there's a very real possibility he is coming back as Batman, and I'm going to back this up with some information. The first thing is the fact that I know Ben Affleck did not want to work with the old Warner Brothers regime. Uh, they made that very clear. He said he was pretty much uh, loved playing Batman in The Flash and that that was going to be his pretty much his swan song. But he was willing to come back for Zack Snyder, and he was going to come back for Aquaman too. but that supposedly has been cut. There were lots of things that were happening that, suggested that yeah he was he was willing to come back but then we get James Gunn coming in saying he's going to choose a a Batman a different actor but the thing is with the storyline that they're going in with Damien would mean that Batman would have to be a little bit older and that he would have had to have had his son and not know about him and Ben Affleck is at that perfect age to have that story play out we didn't see everything with Batman in, obviously, Batman versus Superman. We didn't get a lot of backstory. We never got Ben Affleck's solo Batman film. And it, it would it, that leaves room for there to be a whole Batverse already created around Batman that the viewers never saw. They could easily write that into the story. James Gunn has said that there are going to be some actors that stay, this, stay the same and some that change. This would be a good opportunity to have Ben Affleck come back as Batman and be the Batman of the DCU and have a younger Superman. I'm okay with that. I'm not okay with a 40-year difference, but I am okay with a 20-year difference, especially with Ben Affleck as Batman. I was totally against him being Batman when it first happened, but he ended up being my favorite comic book version of Batman on film. Uh, More ripped out of the comics than anybody else. So there are things suggesting that this very well could happen. Now, we all know that James Gunn said he does want Ben Affleck to direct as well. When this writer says there's a doozy of a story, it wouldn't make sense to say that he's coming to direct the Batman Brave and Bold film because we already knew that that was a possibility. If it's a doozy, it's got to be something else. And there's there's lots of people speculating. I've seen lots of people talk about this. It's all over the place that this is a real possibility. So everything in today's video is more about rumors than anything else, but I do believe Zack Snyder's Justice League is going to be canon, which will be amazing if they pull that off in the flash and they they do utterly confirm it and make it canon. That will be sweet. I did get my tickets today for Shazam. I will be reviewing that when it does come out. It'll be that Thursday before it officially gets released. I will uh, definitely get my review up that night as soon as I get back from the movie and then you know the next big one is the flash uh just you know three months down the road so we're gonna we're gonna see where this all leads uh i i have bittersweet feelings about the flash movie because i know what it's about to do especially with henry cavill and superman i do i still don't know how they're going to make that work if barry comes back and people are different uh that wouldn't make sense that would mean he's not back in the normal timeline so they've got a lot of explaining to do in that film and hopefully that's what the ending is doing is they're going to flesh all that stuff out but it would be very easy make no mistake it would be very easy to keep ben affleck as batman it would mesh with the storyline perfectly and that would make me one happy camper uh if james gunn wants to go to you know a degree to put out an olive branch i think that would be it 
uh, that would definitely make me a little happier and a little more uh, willing to open up to some of the possibilities of what he's going to do. But you get rid of the two most powerful people and best people in the DCU. And yeah, that causes problems and does leave a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. All right. As more information gets released, I will be bringing it. You will be seeing more updates coming at a quicker fashion now that I am done with this holy living project that took up every living moment of my time. Uh, it's, it's over. Uh, I can get back to normal. And we will see you on the next video.